Okay, now first notice that this is not directly above this. Now I know you've seen it from over there, so you know, your perspective might throw it off. Probably should have put it a little further over. But these things are going to be in order of magnitude, and they're both going to, they're all going to be an attractive force toward one of these charges, right? Okay. So which one's going to be biggest? The one in the closest, the closest one in the middle. Okay, the middle is the closest. You know, this is probably 30% further, right? Okay. And this one looks like it's twice as far. <laughs> twice as far. Now, how does that relate to the lengths of the vectors that you're going to draw? The one on the left should be a little longer, or a little shorter than the one in the middle, and then the one on the right. Okay, should be just a little, or significantly. Oh yeah, you said thirty percent. So. <laughs> well, I said it's thirty percent uh, farther away. Okay, if it's thirty percent further away, what does that do to its magnitude? I Means it's going to be. Uh, shorter. Again? It's going to be shorter. That percentage is shorter. Shorter by what factor? By uh, 0.3. Okay. Three tenths. No. What kind of a force law do we have for electric charges? Oh, it's square. It's an inverse square law. You can't forget that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously you can, but don't. <laughs> okay? Yeah, otherwise, you have total lack of intuition about what goes on, and it's really going to bite later. <laughs> okay, so you want to make sure you understand this, just like gravitation. Of course, if you really understood the inverse square nature of gravitation, you would immediately understand this, right? So this is your last chance to understand an inverse square, so make sure you do. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, you're going to give this some magnitude. It doesn't have to go all the way from here to here. It doesn't have to go through this. It could, nothing wrong with it, but I want it a little more compact. So, uh, and this one is going to be, okay, it's 1.3 times as long, or times as far, so it's going to be the reciprocal of 1.3 squared times the force, right? Yeah. Well, that's going to be roughly, well, that's what, I mean, you square 1.3, you get 1.69, which is about 1.7, right? Okay, so it's going to be more than half as long, but not all that much longer, right? So it's going to look like maybe this. Is that long enough, that half? Yeah, probably even a little longer. We'll just extend that by two. Okay? Now how long is this one going to be? One-fourth. Okay, so one-fourth the length, that's going to be just a pretty short vector in this direction. What do you get when you add up those three vectors? Well, clearly, the net downward component, okay, is going to be what? Downward component of this one, plus the downward component of this one, plus a little bit for this one, right? So it's going to be this far down, plus this far down, which puts it about here, and then a little further. So maybe about here, and you know, we can't expect this to be all that accurate, but here's your downward component. And what about right or left? Is it going to be more to the right or more to the left? To the left, yeah. That's the right. Yeah, it's going to be more to the right. That's obvious from the charges. These are all equal charges, which is implicitly what we're assuming. Okay. okay? Then, well, two of them are to the right, one of them is to the left, and the strongest one is to the right. Which means the rightward component of this vector is going to be greater than the leftward component of this one. Well, no, that's not actually necessarily true. In the way I've drawn these, they seem to be about equal and opposite, but then you've got the component of this one. So the net component of the left, the, the, the right left is about there, and our total vector might be about here, right? Okay. Now, if I go to a series of points along this line, can you sketch me the vectors that you would get as you move from, let's say, here to here? What do you think would happen to the direction and magnitude of the net force as you move from left to right? Right. 